We are in Tamarindo, Costa Rica at a beautiful villa called Don Vito where we're teaching a meditation retreat and I'm with the chef who is from France, Ojo. Hello, bonjour. It's great to be here with you. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. Now, Ojo has a technique where she combines her French cuisine with the Latin culture. So what are you going to make for us today? Okay, today I was inspired by burrito. But in fact, instead of the tortilla, who was who's made with the corn, we're gonna make crepe, French crepe. Cool. Okay, so basically it is a burrito made with a crepe. Absolutely. Okay, so tell us about the ingredients. Okay, it's gonna be two steps, this recipe. First, the crepe. After, what we're gonna put in it. So for the crepe, we're gonna use buckwheat flour. Buckwheat. It's gluten-free, so it's a healthy recipe. We're going to use some water, some eggs, okay. and some salt. This is it for the crepe. We're going to start by the dough, by the crepe. We're going to use one cup of this flour and two cups of water. So, of course, if you want, if you are more than two, you can double the size. So, going to make four. Two people. Okay. Be, so two parts water, yeah, one exactly. part flour. Okay. So, so we go. Now we're gonna begin by the first cup of water. One teaspoon is okay. So means six, seven, eight. Okay. The bubble's gonna appear, appear when we're gonna cook it on the pan. Ah, it's okay. gonna be like. So essentially, what we want to do is get air in there because bubbles are good. Absolutely. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's why you, the more we do it, the more bubbles you're gonna have, and it's gonna be lighter. It works without eggs. Okay. But usually we we'll put one. But okay. If you don't want, you can do it if you want. Absolutely. Closes. Like a dishcloth. Dishcloth. Yeah. And it's gonna be two steps. Well, first of all, we're going to make a salsa, okay. an avocado salsa, but the French touch will be cheese. Ah. So we're going to use some fresh goat cheese. So two avocado is 50 grams, so okay. we need to cut it. So at the end, we're going to have like a pasta salsa. You want okay, it We're going to mix it yeah. again after. Look. If you don't like paprika, don't put paprika. If okay. you like a cumin, put some cumin. <laughs> okay, so it's about a teaspoon. Yeah. You can see. Please enjoy with me. <laughs> and tell good to me. me. Okay. Ah, oh, it's great. Yeah, and soft because of the goat cheese. There's only been a couple of vegan cheeses that I've liked in the past. I like this one almond cheese that comes out good. Can you use that as a replacement if you like? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we get this red onion. Red gonna, onion. Ooh, yes. Is they are more, they are soft, softer? More, no. Yeah. Then the yellow one okay. and the white one. Usually I use the white one and yellow one for soup or something when you need to have the taste like more stronger. Like in small piece. Okay. Together. Now we're gonna take the cucumber, mm -hmm. we're gonna peel it. Okay. And then you're gonna have it like super. Great. We're gonna try to have same size. It's not so. We're gonna take some few small tomato, just cut it in half. Now we're gonna use this. Um, it's a jalapeno, this ah, is the okay. name, it's typical from Costa Rica. We're gonna put out the seeds ah, okay. and the membrane because it is what is... Um, what makes it so spicy. Absolutely. Now, if you like it really spicy, you could leave the, uh, the seeds in. I okay. want to say that. If you don't like spicy things, spicy dish, you can use just a paper. It's to have something more crunch, crunchy. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's why I use, uh, I use that. I'm gonna... Add some sprout. Okay. So you could use alfalfa. You or can use alfalfa, different type okay. of sprout. Okay. It's same to have su something super fresh. Yeah, we can now mix it. I put it like that because it's nice and I like to see the quantity. But we need to mix it. Perfect for this. 
We cover it and we put it in the fridge. We begin the crepe. Okay. So it's a minimum of an hour, but the longer you leave it, the better. Exact. Okay. But you can use it after one hour. It's, it's a little thicker. Yeah, so we need to whip it again. And the flour absorb the liquid in this hour, so a, yeah, a little ah, bit too thick. So you put some more water yeah. in it. This crepe is not a typical crepe that we see, because no. I think they make that like a pastry with sugar, right? Yeah, and you put some milk, more yeah. eggs. Yeah. It's another recipe. Some French people say galette. Um, instead of crepe, but ah. they are crepe. You eat it in a crêperie. Now we're gonna cook it. We need to have this pan super hot. Very hot. Yeah, very okay. hot. Okay. Look, and here, I don't know if you can. Okay. okay. We don't want to be sticky. So okay. I get here some coconut oil. Okay. Usually in France, we put some butter, of course. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So butter or coconut oil. It was a working. You need to turn the pan. With one hand you put the crepe, with the other one you turn it because we, we want them to be like a burrito. It's gonna be two minutes, two minutes. Okay. So yeah. We we can we, we know when we can turn it, when you can when it's not sticky. Look here, though it is not we cannot take it off the pan. We're gonna eat it not so hot. Okay. So we can make one, two, three, four. What we prepared before, we use it after. Okay, we can see if it's going to, yeah, it begin, look. We can have it, you know. And it's okay if it breaks. Yes. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we, it's, we're gonna, we're gonna put thing on it and I'm gonna show you the way. Put it on the plate. And we're gonna do another one. Inch. Get on the paper. It's okay. One hand you put in on it, the other one you turn. Okay. Then we let it cook for two minutes on this side. So we can see that we have quantity to make like four crepes. That's why I said four. But it's coming. You can see that the color is going. We have some few bubbles here coming when we were whipping. Okay. This one is with a lot of bubble. It's going to be perfect. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, it could be. Very okay. exciting. So these little bubbles are why you whipped it earlier. Uh, exact. Okay, so you like those. You can, yeah, and it's going to be more lighter when you're gonna eat it. It's light to the dough. Another one. That's why it could break. If I don't put enough oil, it uh -huh. could break because it's gonna stick. So about two minutes on each side, two to three minutes? Yeah. Okay. And you have it on high heat the whole time? All time, yeah. Okay. You can look. Yeah. Have a look. Okay. So, you want to try to turn it? Mm. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Aha! Oh, ah. yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you cooked them before. <laughs> ah, you didn't tell me. Uh. <laughs> This is for salty recipe, only salty recipe. Okay. It could be with cream, mushroom, uh, ham, cheese, ah. um, many, many oh, things. Okay. So this is essentially made with salt and the, the, the galette, and the, the real name of the crepe is made with sugar. Uh, exact. Oh, very interesting. Exact. Okay, we finish our four crepe. We're gonna now prepare it. We're gonna use some fresh herbs. 
So I do it at the last moment because I don't want them to be dark and, ah, okay. and black. And the cheese and avocado salsa. So, fresh vegetable. Put it on the top and some fresh herbs. You can serve it like that. Looks great. You can put everything and do more things or less things, okay. but different things. Put everything on the table and everybody can make their own uh, okay, burrito. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, you first eat with your eyes, so it's important. These few details, the last touch is important when you arrive at the table. So, are your eyes happy? Very happy. <laughs> this looks amazing. You can close it and when you arrive at the table and you can cut it. Okay. Then it's easier to have it and test it. Okay. I cut it for you. Very excited for this. Mmm. Oh, so good. You can feel all the different texture? Yes. Everything. Yeah. It's amazing. No? Far, not so far from the burrito inside, but so close from the crepe outside. Yes. And the avocado salsa is like a nice sauce or cream on it with all these vegetables together. I love it. Mm? It's, well, it's amazing difference of many different cultures. That's what I love about your cooking here. It's exactly what I'm looking for yeah. when I travel. And then... This can be done with different types of meat. Typically in France, you were telling me earlier, it's with ham and cheese. Yes. But if, what if else you If you have put? some chicken, it could be leftover of chicken. It could traditionally something called cidre to drink with it. With it. Cidre is uh, coming with from apple. It's Soft, it's maybe oh, it's cider, a yes. cider. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 a French way to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like, yeah. but if not, um, more with a white wine than a red one. Okay. Well, we are going to have the amounts and of course the recipe and everything in the info box below as well as on the blog. And I'm gonna have a link for the website of Villa Don Vito here in Tamarindo, Costa Rica, if you are in town and you would like to stay here. So for more recipes on health and wellness related to mind, body, and spirit, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when we make more videos like this. So I hope this works well for you, good luck.